So another possibility in terms of evaluating or looking at your need could be that you've got outdated materials or there's no funding to support the adoption of new textbooks. So our Michigan microsite has textbooks, ebooks that are available for teachers to download and remix and to personalize. And I think that adds value and it empowers teachers to say, hey, these are high quality resources that have already been vetted, but then I can add my personal touch. So if I am teaching something around communities, I can add pictures of my local communities within that e-textbook and really personalize that lesson for my students. So as they're reading their ebook, they could look at a familiar landmark from their community, and as they're out in their communities, they can say, oh, I saw that in my e-textbook. Or they see it in the e-textbook, and as they're going outside and saying, oh, I learned about that. So it really helps those connections in terms of making that content relevant and engaging. So essentially at the county level, what we try to do is have them identify their need and then bring them together in terms of how do you curate those resources based on your need and work with the district leadership in building that solid curriculum, which then can be distributed and shared across the district because it really talks to consistency and equity. And then we want to be able to make sure that all of our teachers have the highest quality resources, that you don't have pockets of success here where they found some resources through the OER collection. They're utilizing them really well, but the other teachers don't know about them. So the conversations is really around that collaborative effort to build that solid curriculum, which can then be reviewed annually by the district. So we really are trying to empower districts to take ownership of this, and we at the county level support them with that process, with curriculum alignment and finding those resources. And then to take it a step further, with the instructional technology lens, we ask them to think about how these resources can then be delivered in an online platform whether that's a learning management system or some other online platform, how can those resources be best utilized in that online environment? Because it's not as simple as just taking a PDF and putting it up there. You wanna make sure that you teach teachers how to make that content more accessible and more editable for the students so they can easily manipulate and work with it.